elimination around the NBA. Sports at 15. The TSX, the Dow, and the NASDAQ each drop by more than 100 points. And oil is still firmly in the red, but off its low for the day. Business at 26. City News Time 101. All right, time now for traffic and weather together on the one. Here's Carrie Pruskis. This report is brought to you by OLGC. We have construction and a stalled vehicle on the eastbound 401. The road work is from the Allen to approaching Avenue Road and the Express. Two right lanes are closed. And then east of Young and the Collectors, the right lane is closed because of the stalled vehicle. So traffic is very heavy on the eastbound 401 from Kipling to east of Keel and the Collectors and delays to east of the Allen and the Express. And then it slows again from Young to just east of Young and the Collectors uh, with that right lane blocked off. Uh, westbound 401, a much better drive across the GTA. Southbound on the 404, it's busy from Finch on to the 401 ramps. Then a delay on the southbound DVP ramp to Bayview Bloor. It's jammed the whole way down. It's because of construction at the end of that ramp at Bloor and Castle Frank. Looks like the construction on the westbound QAW at Trafalgar has wrapped up. That HOV lane has reopened. It's still very slow, though. Westbound QAW jammed approaching Ford Drive to Trafalgar. And on the eastbound QAW, just east of Trafalgar, the ramp lane is closed because of a stalled truck. A minor delay there. It's busy on the eastbound. Gardner from the Humber Bridge to the Jarvis ramp and expect delays on the northbound DVP from Don Mills to York Mills. On city streets, Young is really busy in both directions between Bloor and St. Clair. It's because of the ongoing subway closures, so a lot of uh, extra shuttle buses on that route. Tonight's Lotto Max jackpot is an estimated $55 million plus an estimated four max millions. Buy tickets in store or olg.ca. Play responsibly, 18 plus. And now with the forecast, here's Jill Taylor. A lot like yesterday with sun, cloud, chance of those showers, maybe some mixing as well. A gusty wind out of the west-southwest. It will settle down, though, tonight. Our guaranteed high, 11, partly cloudy conditions, and 2 degrees for the low. A bit cooler, though, to the north. For today, the guaranteed high, 11. Right now, we've got mostly cloudy skies, 8 degrees downtown, 9 at Pearson City News Time, 103. <laughs> And happening right now on the TTC, there is no subway service on a section of line number one after a large explosion and fire on the tracks at Bloor Young Station. Our moment, Koreshi joins us live from the station with more moment. I read morning commuters on the platform at Young Bloor Station around 10 this morning got more than just a ride on the rocket. They witnessed an explosion. <laughs> standing on the platform at that time just happened to be City News 680's very own Zahir Hashimi. I noticed a couple of sparks down the tracks and I heard like this loud hissing noise and a couple of sparks go off. I thought it was weird. At first I thought it was fireworks so I took out my phone and started filming and then all of a sudden a large explosion or what I would describe as large maybe some people would say medium but an explosion erupted and, and smoke started bellowing through the, the tunnel. I filmed for like the other 10 to 15 seconds after that and then the workers there told us to evacuate. Now, thankfully, no one is injured, but there are service disruptions. There's currently no service on line one between College and St. Clair. Well, line two uh, is only is uh, bypassing on both stations. So you have to another catch train at Sherburn going east or at Bay going west. Uh, those disruptions continue at this moment. Reporting live, Roman Qureshi, City News. You are listening to City News 680. It's now 105. Well, Premier Doug Ford got pressed by reporters today about his plans to redevelop Ontario Place. Now, he also floated around some ideas about what he plans to do with the Science Center site. Yeah, the Premier pressed on his plans for Ontario Place today and his plan to move the Science Center down to Ontario Place. Ford had previously said that he wants to use the existing Science Center site at Eglinton and Don Mills to build housing. He didn't mention that today. Instead, he said he's ready to work with the city of Toronto to give it whatever it's looking for. And it's their property. If they need some community benefits, I hear they need a new school, we'll build a new school. If they need a new community center, we'll build a new community center. Will you commit to releasing a business case for moving to Science Center? Yeah, we're, we're always going to be open to it. Ford did not make that commitment when pressed there by reporters. Meantime, when it comes to the Science Center, the Premier confirmed today he is giving a 95-year lease to a private spa company. That's pretty typical when someone's investing hundreds of millions of dollars. At Queen's Park, Richard Southern City News. The province, meanwhile, has announced a new plan to boost police recruitment. The foreign government is removing tuition fees for the basic constable training program and expanding the number of new recruits. 
Solicitor General Michael Kersner says the government is also introducing a bill to remove the post-secondary requirement for new recruits. Instead, they will only need a high school diploma. I, I, I don't think bringing an arts degree is necessarily the criteria to go to Ontario Police College and to be a cadet. I think it's our whole life experience that we bring to our new career. The NDP say police should have more support and training. You're listening to City News 680. It's now 106. There are some efforts underway now to evacuate up to 1,700 Canadians from Sudan as the violent clashes there continue. We are exploring all options. Defense Minister Anita Anand says the government and military are doing all they can to help Canadians flee the violence in Sudan. There are military aircraft and ships in the region, and allies like Germany, France, Saudi Arabia, and the UAE have helped dozens of our citizens flee. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says there are challenges around which airports to use and which countries get access, but Canada's attempting direct airlifts. Uh, we're also engaged diplomatically. We just spoke with the chairperson of the African Union this morning uh, to continue to offer any support Canada can have in calling for a ceasefire and looking for resolution. There have been violent clashes between the Sudanese army and a rival paramilitary force that have left hundreds dead and some essential services wiped out. The U.S. helped negotiate a 72-hour ceasefire to allow people to flee the country. Cormac makes Sweeney Parliament Hill. The Maple Leafs are set to return home today after back-to-back -back wins in Tampa. And as our Rajesh Dave tells us, coach Sheldon Keefe will have to make some big decisions ahead of a historic Game 5. After Matthew Nyes denied a big goal and played extremely well in the Leafs Game 4 win, Keefe says he's a lock for the next one, even with Michael Bunting ready to return. I mean, Matt Nyes is certainly not coming out of line. He's done his perfect job for us. Uh, you know, so he's a guy that's definitely earned his off earned his spot. You know, it's uh, with, with Monday being available, obviously, it's a very good option for us. He's a good player for us. Uh, it's not as easy or as simple as a decision as it, as it may have been. In fact, Keith doesn't want to change much, crediting players who aren't scoring but still do the work. There's, there's good things happening with their shifts, and then there's, there's not many easy shifts and not much easy ice available out there right now, and everybody's uh, competing hard and pushing through all that. The Buds are off today. We'll practice tomorrow before getting the chance to eliminate the Bulls on Thursday. For Josh Dave's City News. And a pilot program in California is now using dogs to sniff out COVID. It's an unusual study by the California Department of Public Health. Grade school students lining up to be sniffed at their ankles and feet by two yellow labs, Rizzo and Scarlet. Medical alert dogs trained to detect certain scents. If the dog stopped and sat down at a particular student, it was an indication COVID-19 was potentially detected. The dogs had already been trained to find the scent of COVID using the socks of people who tested positive and negative for the virus. The next challenge, the dogs detecting COVID in nursing homes. Derek Dennis, ABC News. And coming up in just 30 seconds, we'll have a check on the price of gas. City News Time 109. This portion of the news is brought to you by the Herzig Eye Institute. Hi, I'm Sherry Tab, co-founder of the Herzig Eye Institute. Did you know that wanting to play their favorite sports better is the number one reason people have their vision corrected? Let our team of world-class surgeons help you improve your golf, your tennis, and yes, your hockey. See if one of our high-definition vision procedures is right for you. Google Herzig Eye Institute. Call us for a consultation. There's no charge. Look after yourself. Promise me. And that's time for the City News Gas Price Update and Process Price of Gas. Only going to go up a penny at midnight tonight to $1.58.9. City News Time 110 at BDC. We know being an entrepreneur means always being ready to take on challenges and seize opportunities. Get up to $100,000 with our small business loan to make your projects a reality. Simple, quick, and with no application fees, the BDC Online Loan offers you flexibility to protect your cash flow with favorable repayment terms. Apply now at bdc.ca slash online loan. Certain conditions apply. BDC. Financing. Advising. 